bitch. You ever notice when you really on top of your diet and fitness game is when you discover new shit? On the other hand, it's healthy too, so we good. We good! Sexy shoes on the sidelines for mister when he gets home. Cause right now, bitch, I got on some, 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 some slippers. Disclaimer, I don't know if, it, if any of these hoes I'm about to promote are racist or not. Now you know that I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these slippers first. I'm not gonna do a detailed one on the slippers because the whole thing is I actually did a video that I think I did not post on the slippers. And I, if, if anything, if I did do the video, I covered up the brand name of it because I believe they are racist. But I don't think I uploaded the video because I'm pretty firm when I make a decision in, in that regard. However, I don't even need to promote them too much anymore because Mr. and I went to go get me some more sandals. Well, this is this was a whole, this is to make a short story long. I went to go get me some more sandals for this year. Because, you know, they last me for a couple of years, you know, for as much as they cost. They cost maybe 15 bucks. And I like them because I can literally go outside and garden in the dirt and mud and insects and everything else. And before I come into back into the house, I can rinse them off with the garden hose and they are good. Okay? So I always love them. So even if they only last a year or one season, even... I was good with that because I, wore, I wear them all over the house, indoors, outdoors, blah, 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 blah. Well, I liked them so much that when I went to get a new pair, because I tore one of them, it was all me. Because um, like I said, I wore them a lot. They got, I got my money's worth, okay? I got my 15, I got my fedain worth, okay? I got my trees worth, my trays, okay? It was time to get a new pair. So I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, Mr. has feet problems, plantar fasciitis type issues. Well, I did say, short story long. Anywho, we went to the farmer's store. It's a store where farmers go. I'm just gonna call it the farmer's store. They had Crocs there. And you know, everybody's heard of Crocs. You know, so many people do Crocs, they blew up. Um, uh, presumably because they're actually, uh, they actually live up to their reputation because they are certainly ugly as fire. And I actually saw Crocs, they look like slippers. You know, between me and you, and side note Crocs, if y'all see this video, I saw your Instagram post that said, that was talking about how cute the kids Crocs are and too bad they only make them for kids. Bitch, you are Crocs company. You can change that. You can make those same sandals in a larger size for adults. And if you do that, I will then, unless I find out that you, about your racism, just don't let me find out. You can keep it. Just keep it in the closet. But if you make these sandals for adults that you make for kids, then you will have another customer in me, boo-boo. So anyway, he and I went to the farm store and we had, they had Crocs uh, up there. And he, he decided to try on some Crocs, right? And he found some that, were, that he liked that were comfortable for him. And they apparently were comfortable for him because he's had them for like a month now. And there were a couple of times where he got a little testy because he didn't, when he came home and took off his work shoes, he didn't, couldn't find a croc. So he came for me about where I might have put his Crocs. Them your shoes. I don't even, I don't even, so he found some Crocs that he liked, which inspired me to, well, let me see if they have some different designs other than the classic one, the classic garden Croc style. I do not like that. That's just me though. Clearly, millions of people do. I'm just not one of those. But I saw some that look like regular slippers, girl. And they're so lightweight. If they, look, they even sound like it. They weigh like they're made out of styrofoam. And you already know the reputation for these little massager anything. That works too. Girl, yes. I have to get a size larger so that it can cradle my foot. So, I even got... But that's what I needed to do to get this kind of comfort I'm getting. Because, honey, I'm walking on clouds. Walking on clouds. And these two can just be rinsed off going in and out of the garden. So, I bet not find this in, in other colors. Okay? Or other styles that are fashionable. It, Get your game up. You already have the monopoly. Can you imagine what kind of money you would make if y'all made different styles? But if you're racist, you ain't heard that from me. Delete everything I just said out your mind. Because I'm trying to help you make some more money. Because that's what it's going to do. It's going to help you make some more money. Because I want some of them. It was a long ass version of that story, right? Oh, see my tea? My tea looks dark. Let me tell you why, girl. When my tea looks dark like this, it's because I have put my dose of black strap molasses. Oh, it looks dark and cloudy. For that reason. Blackstrap molasses is funny. It smells like exactly like it smells. We all know how molasses smells. But the original unsulfured, the natural organic stuff that comes straight out of the tree. <laughs> it's not as sweet as what you bought in the store. Now, 
this other thing I'm finna tell you about. Ugh, y'all, I just lost seven pounds. Seven, and I could, I could feel it gone significantly. Then I, I had this bittersweet revelation. Now, I have heard of this stuff, and you have heard of this stuff, and a lot of you are hip to it, clearly, because they have, on their, of their own accord, without any national marketing, blown, blown up. I saw them gradually uh, showing up in stores more regularly over the past two years. I thought I saw them on, on Shark Tank, but I got them mixed up with Pipcorn. It's a different thing, which I also tasted, but that wasn't as amazing as they tried to make it seem. Yeah, no, boo. And that was a brother-sister team. But good for them. Good for your entrepreneurial spirit. spirit. You are going to need that in this day and age of Trump America. And every time I went to the grocery store, I wanted to grab something. And I never did. And apparently, Mr. and I were having the same ideas. I know I try to eat about 10 mint leaves a day. And since my last several videos about how useful the stems are on a lot of things that we use the leaves for, sometimes you can't use the stems, but sometimes you can, and when you can, you should. That After all, that is the highway that all of the nutrients use to get to the leaves that we use. So wouldn't you imagine that the nutrients are even more concentrated in the stem? Well, when in the stem when it's still green and pliable, at least. So yeah, now I actually eat the whole thing, including the stem. When I'm just eating a leaf, that's what I do. Like I said, now I also eat the stem. Because why not? It ain't gonna hurt nothing. And it just tastes minty. Not like I'm suffering through, through the flavor or anything. Now, what else I wanted to tell you about was... It actually has 10 more minutes, so I have to go back up in 10 minutes. I better set my alarm because I will forget. I really want those to dry and fold those tonight because I'm on a mission to be more productive. Mr. has left on his way home yet. So I did get to talk to my sister though today, this morning, this morning. Started the day off right. I love you, girl. I love you so much. Even if I didn't, I wouldn't have a choice. Because we are joined at the spirit. Y'all, you don't even you don't know. You don't even know. It's a blessing. So in one of Mr.'s trips to Walgreens, he broke down and decided to try this stuff. This is what he got. Boom chicka pop. Boom chicka ow wow. Bow, 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 bow. I don't know how porn music goes though. So. But you know, boom to pound chicka wow wow. This was the one he got. So it's just a real butter popcorn. And girl, when I tell you, we smashed. We smashed this. And I know you see it, 60 calories per cup. Now you gotta be careful and you gotta pay attention to the in ingredients. And in this, this bitch's particular case, I love this bitch. I don't think she is racist, you know, because after, I, after I, I found out how delicious it was and I realized I was gonna be addicted to this shit, I said, okay, let me, let me see how my guilt meter is gonna be. I mean, is this gonna be a Chick-fil-A situation or am I gonna be able to eat this um, freely, you know, and openly? <laughs> And, from, and you know, and suggested for other people for whom can indulge, okay? So, yeah, I don't think she's racist. But anywho, she my boo now. You my boo girl now. You don't even know it. You don't even know. You don't even know. You my boo now. And, uh, yeah, this was amazing. It was so amazing, right, that he went and got two more. I don't know where those two are because we smashed it. We smashed it. They also have the sea salt one. Uh, looks like we smashed that too. So when I went to the store, I went and got three more flavors that I knew we had not tasted. Because I already know which flavor is going to be mine. But so I went and got three more flavors. I went to get, I got the lightly sweet because I know he liked kettle corn. And they have a kettle corn, by the way. So I'm going to get that as well because I want to I taste every last one of them. And then after I taste every last one of them, then I'm going to just eat whatever my favorite one is. Because So we haven't tasted these, the lightly sweet and the white cheddar. I'm sure it'll be amazing. We got this flavor. This is the one I told you we almost finished. We almost finished, polished off. And it's good, but actually it's perfect for people who love cheddar cheese. And I do. But Mr. is a big cheese popcorn guy. Now, I like cheese popcorn. You know, that's a Midwest thing. Well, not to like it, because everybody loves it, but to to have made it famous. Shout out to Garrett. And if any, if any of you have ever been to a Chicago airport, you probably tasted Garrett's popcorn. But let me tell you, bitch. They did that. They mixed this cheese, because they have this cheddar cheese popcorn. And then they also have a caramel, uh, car a sweet caramel popcorn. And they, they mix both of them holes 
and came up with this. Caramel and cheddar. Popcorn mix. Bitch, that's gone. <laughs> that's gone. You hear me? It's gone. I'm mad I didn't get another bag, but they're, they, sell, they sell another one at the store. Trust and believe. I also meant to show you guys how, if you look on here, it has, they have different, they let you know the calorie count. So the reason why you have to pay attention to the ingredients and the, the uh, uh, for these popcorns is because they tell you the truth. So each bag says something damn different, right? So this is a caramel and cheddar. That's going to be 100 calories per, per cup. That's per cup right there. Because cups and servings are different on each bag as well. Like in this particular one where it says... 100 calories per cup and 120 per serving. The serving size is one and a quarter cups, and in this bag is about six servings. Now, this bag contains less actual popcorn than, say, this one or this one. Because they honest. They let you, they tell you, like, this is one and a quarter cups per serving with six servings per bag at 100 calories per cup and 120 per, per serving. And this is three and a half cups is a serving size and so there are about four and a half servings in this bag because it takes you know serving size is larger a serving size is 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 uh, larger with this than it is with this meaning you could eat more of this and get fewer calories right serving size three and a half cups serving size one and one quarter cup you get to eat more than double of this for less the calories you want to get better this, lightly sweet, 35 calories. Yep, this is three and a quarter cups is a serving of this to one and a quarter cups. So you still get to eat, eat more of this. You get, to, you, get, you get to eat double what you can eat of this and have about a third of the calories. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Let's do the math, girl. Let's do the math. So, yeah, needless to say, girl. Oh, man. And the reason why is, is because of what I just told you. Because I can have a lot more three and a quarter cups so I can have three and a cat three and a half cups at 35 calories per cup and 30 60 90 105 yeah 105 and another 16 is 121 calories it was $35,000. $35,000 cash money? No, no, I get one third, $35,000 plus one, right? The one I gave. No, you gave me six, though, right? That's it was true. one. I had one. It was six. And a $35,000 plus one plus six leaves seven. $35,000 and seven, right? Motherfucker, can you buy that? Do, 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 do. 45, 47. Just hurry up. I got customers. 45, 47. If I have a whole serving. But I don't even need a whole serving. It's so delicious and so satisfying that you can fill your hand up about three times. That's not a whole cup. Your hand is not a whole cup. Fill your hand up three times and you can be good. You can do that shit all damn day long and not screw up your uh, discipline with your nutrition and fitness. So, yeah. Not only that, bitch, it's so light after you eat it. Like, you can eat too much. You can eat too much of the heavy one. Oh, and the caramel one, is that's 120 calories per cup. I remember. I think I remember. But anyway, um, I didn't want just caramel. If I was going to get anything, I wanted the, the uh, I'm going to call it the Garrett blend. Because we know that Garrett popcorn create that. But I ain't mad at you because you did it, and you did it to the hilt. Because I like yours better, bitch, than Garrett's. And the reason why I like it better is because all the flavor is still there without the heaviness it's not too much of it where you can still take taste the, the fluffiness of the actual popcorn bitch and also ho the kernel situation y'all know i have retainers and, I, and so apples and popcorns are some things that are some things that i should probably be cautious of and i'm not but if you have denture work of any kind bitch and popcorn is on your off limits list then I'm gonna go on record to say to say that I will deny it in the future. <laughs> if you ever claim I told you this, I will deny it. But this is an exception to the rule, bitch. Like this does not. You don't get kernel. There are no kernels in your teeth with this popcorn or any all up in your throat trying to. I had a couple of situations, and I know you have. I know somebody else out there has. Have mercy. Had popcorn try to kill you. Tr popcorn kernels will try to choke you out if you get too greedy and you don't want to stop eating popcorn when it's time to stop because you get to the bottom here and it's all that's left is these kernels right here that are gangster and they will fuck you up. So, you just got these little things. Look, you can't even see any car Bitch. This is the end of this popcorn. That's what I'm saying. 
You can't even see no kernels in that. Hardy. Well, you see some little... No! You can't really see no kernels in that. Look at that. Now, those, there's no reason for me to eat this, right? Because it's, it's ready to be thrown away. We finished eating. We smashed it. You know, I just pulled it. I just emptied that. But I could if I wanted to. And not have to worry about kernels. Oh, there's one. Still, I could have bit down on that. That was so light and flaky. I'm not encouraging you to do that. I'm not encouraging you to do that, but I'm just saying that this stuff and this shit is so good and fresh that you can. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do, Angie. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, bitch. You made this with love. You know how they always, you know how grandma tried to pass a recipe down to some of that biscuit recipe that nobody couldn't get. You could be in the kitchen with her the whole time from beginning to end and do everything step for step like she did. But what she put in it was love. And you ain't no loving bitch. You can't, you, you faking it. <laughs> But I know this bitch put, she made this shit with love. And she made sure that it was no reject, not a single solitary reject kernel. Could get in one single solitary of her bag. Quality bags, I might add. I don't know what kind of paper this is. But damn it, I wouldn't put it past her for this to be re somehow recyclable paper and still quality. See, look at that. It feels silky. The fuck? What the fuck popcorn bag feels silky? Does it feel silky on the inside? I don't know, just... It's still more, it's still more silky than a regular inside full of a, of a, of a, of a chip and popcorn bag. <laughs> I should have ate them last ones to show, to prove a point. Cause y'all know I was gonna get a couple, but I'm still good. The point is, if you just eating popcorn like you eat popcorn out the bag, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna have no, no, no problems with this, these current, these stuff in your teeth. Real, simple ingredients. Nothing fake. That's the kind of tagline a real bitch will put on her product. That's keeping it real. Contains nothing but ingredients you'll love. Are these the ingredients? Listen to this. The ingredients you'll love. Popcorn. That's the first ingredient. Dried cane sugar. Sunflower oil. Sea salt. All this is on the up and up and up and you are a good woman. A sincere and good woman. I love you, Angie Boom Chicka Pop. And your popcorn is boom pow. For giving people food like they're humans and valuing life and what in nature and the gifts that God means for us to enjoy and appreciate in turn thank you for keeping it real thank you for keeping popcorn real do you remember all those carrots I told you guys I bought because they were on sale like for real for real and I got all those damn bags of, of carrots. And so they wouldn't even fit in the refrigerator. There was no room for them. So several of the bags I set out at, at room temperature until I had room in the refrigerator. I don't know what that white stuff is. Some of them are just... But I'm not going to take any chances. So I have this big old bag of probably like 10 bags of wasted damn carrots. It's cool though. I get one of the bags that I did have room for. Peeled and washed baby cut carrots, but y'all know I don't trust them people. I don't know them like that. Wash these off. I already have my cabbage juice in here. Uh, that's not good at all. I consider each handful a carrot, and so since this particular recipe takes about two carrots. Half a cucumber. And we got one and one half honey crisp apple. If you use a different kind of apple, you'll need uh you'll need more apples. <laughs> That's all I can do. I don't know what else to tell you. You'll need more apples if you use the if you use the a lesser apple. I don't know what to tell you. I want to say if you use a lesser quality apple, but I don't know honey crisp to be top shelf as far as apples are concerned. I just know what it is for my taste buds. And for my taste buds, it is the pinnacle of applehood cup to catch any drippage but first I'll take any excess froth off it just makes it easier to swig right down and also taste to make sure make sure those apples did their job and they did girl hence only needing one and one half apple I'm gonna go ahead and break down and throw this away if we need to buy another one then we need to buy another one right mister would say give it to Goodwill I think I'll give it to Goodwill this was the top or this is the top when he's working outside, I can put a straw in this and he can see I can't do it. I broke the lip on one of my beakers. And also, this smears off. Like, what the, what's up with that? It's a beaker. If you are scientific, 
Tippic, heat tolerant, chemical tolerant, beaker, glass beaker. And you can't handle whatever goes on in the kitchen to the tune of smearing your measurements. No bueno, glass beaker makers. So you guys will know, this is one of Mr. favorite meals that I make. Boil these large shells to al dente so that uh, they're malleable without falling apart, like this one has. <laughs> But that's the only one that did. So I did pretty good. And in order to get them that way, I actually boiled them with about a teaspoon of oil. And then once they've boiled to al dente, I empty them of that hot water and I refill this with cold water to stop the shells from continuing to cook and to cool off so that I can work with them. And then I put them, then I open them up, fill them with the meat mixture. That's a poblana pepper. And the meat mixture has uh, red peppers, uh, poblano peppers, garlic, oregano, pineapple sage, basil, onion, and I'm going to uh, uh, line the base of the pan with sauce to help in keeping it from sticking to the bottom, because you don't want that. And then I'm going to drizzle sauce across the top of them, bake them for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I sprinkle some cheese on the top, and you know, I like uh, fresh, my green onions fresh as opposed to cooked into the meal, so then I'll cut fresh green onions across the top. And plus, it plates very nicely that way, so you'll see. And FYI, I'm also, I've drizzled the sauce across the uh, middle and on a lot of the ends because the ends tend to get hard, but uh, which reminded me to turn the camera back on and let you know that I will indeed cover this with another piece of foil before putting it in the oven, and I will only take the foil off in the last 10 minutes after I've put the uh, cheese and green onions on top to melt for another five or ten minutes. So I am going to cover this before I put it in.